Well, I bought a car for $600. I just can't resist a piece of junk. I don't know why cheap cars just turn me on. I don't know what it is about them, but this car behind me was $600. This video, I'm gonna clean it, fix it, sell it, and hopefully make some money. And really hopefully this thing isn't a complete pain in the butt. So follow along with me, let's get going. So hey there, welcome back. My name is Craig from Flying Wheels. This behind me is a 2003 Saab 9.3 that I just bought at a dealer only auction. I'm hoping it's not gonna be another Saab story. So it only has 118,000 miles on it. Tax season's coming and I'm prepping, I'm preparing, I'm stocking up my inventory for tax season. And when I see a car that runs for $600, I should resist it and I just can't. I'm a sucker for a good deal. Hopefully this is a good deal. Well, if you've seen my Ferrari videos flipping $400 cars into Ferraris, I thought I was past buying cheap cars and I think I'm just back in the zone again, back to my early ways. How I started my business was buying cars like this, fixing them, cleaning them, selling them for a profit. I'm gonna show you everything I do to this car to help make me some money and maybe you'll learn a little bit along the way. So this one is rough and maybe I should have stayed away from it based on the chrome tape on the bottom, that's not even the worst of it. We have a little bit of a clear coat peeling off, but let me show you the real thing. Over here, you'll see how ugly this is. Now this car is probably $1,200 even at auction, but watch this, it looks like this car's been sitting. I'm gonna lick my finger. That's why I bought it. I think all of this is gonna come off. I think a lot of people stayed away from this car because of that fender. I think it's all gonna come off and look really, really good when I'm finished. Tires are good on it. The body's pretty straight. My favorite part of this job is detailing cars. I love taking cars like this and making them look good again. I love bringing them back to life. So I'm hoping this car right here is gonna be great when I'm done. Look at the, all that right there that you see isn't from this car. It like sat under something and dripped all over the car and made it look this ugly. So I think it's gonna come back to life. Leather interior, heated seats. Let's see if it starts. Now good old fashioned subs. Center console key, it started up, that's a great thing. 118,000 miles, if I can clean this car up, it should be a $2,000 car with no problem selling. Now let's see if it shifts and drives. All right, we have a reverse. The good thing is the leather's not ripped. These always come off the shifter. The leather always cracks on these. If you look at the outside bolster, it's not cracked. The car's actually pretty clean. It's almost like a diamond in the rough. I think it's gonna come out pretty nice. Now Saabs used to be amazing, amazing cars. They were Swedish or Finnish or whatever. And then GM bought a portion of them and then GM took over completely. And in 2003, they revamped the entire car and made it more of a GM style product with Saab things. The idea was supposed to be it's made from jets. So you'll see like all the buttons up here make you feel like you're kind of in an airplane. It's a two liter four cylinder turbo. That's a pretty reliable engine when the turbo spools up. It's a pretty quick car, it kind of whips your head back. One of the neat little quirky features of the Saab is this key right here. It plugs into the center console. The problem is sometimes the battery would die and if the key was in there, it won't release the key. And other times the car battery dies obviously and the keyless remote isn't going to work. So there's a hidden key inside. Well, let's take it back to the shop and check it out. And we're back in the shop. We got it on the lift, tires in the rear, brand new. We did an inspection on the Saab as soon as it showed up. Needed front brake pads and rotors, rear brake pads and rotors. Here's the old rotor. Actually, this one doesn't look that bad, but you can see it wasn't making complete contact. And you can see, looking at this wheel too, obviously it wasn't making complete contact. So we're doing a brake job all the way around. Windshield washer pump wasn't working, so we're replacing that. A couple light bulbs were out. Headlight, fog light, reverse light, license plate light. Check all the fluids, did a full state inspection on it. We replaced an exhaust hanger, and then it goes in for detail. Quick tip, this is how we bring the trim back on a lot of plastics after it's sun faded. The headlights are pretty cloudy, so we'll see how these come out after a buff. Hey, 
And voila. German, I knew this car was gonna come out nice. Look at how nice that looks after a buff. Give me a holler when you're done this because this is the side I'm excited about. I feel like that's all gonna come off. All right, go for it, let's see. I'm excited about this one. I bought this car based on how this fender comes out. It was like all rust droplets on the fender and no one was bidding on it because it looked like the car was just absolutely trashed. And I had a feeling that it might have been under, like maybe on a trailer underneath another car dripping on it. And I think I was right. what I thought it was gonna look like. So we have all this up here. I knew because it was on the windshield too, and on the mirror. And this is what it's coming out like. Now we have a little bit of a spiritual feeling right there. I was so excited to see what this looked like. So we left our wash bucket out last night by accident. Oops. Goodbye Raptor. That wasn't long enough. So you want to know the best worst problem to have? I'm going out to dinner tonight with my brother and father and I'm driving and I was going to take the S7 but I just bought this 2017 STI. Which do I drive? So we have a plastic welder that works kind of like a heat gun, it shoots high heat and melts the plastic and helps fuse the plastic together. And then we have little plastic rods that fill in those cracks and help fix our brakes and bumpers. Fusing plastic together to correct the bumper. So now onto the interior. Everything gets scrubbed. German took on this project. He's doing the whole thing on himself. Everything in the inside of the car gets completely scrubbed down and brought back to as new as we can get. Here it is finished in just a couple days. Now I can't call it a flip because a flip insinuates quick and quick is cheap, cheap is poor. I don't want to insinuate that in my cars. This was not a cheap, quick flip. I did it right, I did what it needed, I did what it needed to pass state inspection. We have an extremely rigorous state inspection in New Hampshire. If you haven't ever seen my state trooper video, you should go check it out because you get in a lot of trouble for falsifying state inspections. We don't do that. We like to put state inspection stickers on our cars. And in this price range, like under $3,500 to get a state inspected car with leather, sunroof, heated seats, all that, this is gonna be a score and people are going to love it. Let's check it out. So the headlights came out great, but let me just start off with why I bought this car. Look at right here. All of this is gone. Now you'll see there's a little bit of clear coat faded right there. A little bit right here too. That's not stuff I'm going to correct in this price range. It is what it is. Somebody's going to have to buy it the way it is. Here is, I mean, look at how nice this car came out. Now tonight we're supposed to get like 18 inches of snow, so I really wanted to finish it up before the snow came. That way you can get some photos of it. 2OT, great tires, new brakes, new bearings. Look at the interior. Ready? Look how clean the leather is. We cleaned up the winter mats. Going in here. Look at how nice these leather seats are. And check this out, two keys. I have all the original books and even these, these are receipts from the Saab dealer. I knew this car was gonna be a score. I haven't gotten this excited over some $50,000 cars as much as I have over this $600 car. Let's go for a little rip. It came with half a tank of gas. Again, 118,000 miles. And these little Saab turbos are fun cars. They're quick and they're good on gas and they're made by GM. So they're really not that expensive to repair like everybody thinks they are. And 
It's freaking quick. It's a quick turbo car. I've always been a Saab fanatic because there's a lot of bang for your buck in them. You can get a lot of car for not a lot of money. When you can compare them to Volkswagen, BMW, Audi, and Mercedes, you're still getting heated leather. You're still getting sunroof. You're still getting navigation in most cases, a premium sound. These are great little cars, and now you can buy them for under $3,500, which is short money for still what is kind of a reliable car. And I know what you're all gonna say. Oh, it's another sob story, right? Yeah, I get it. Funny, ha ha. This is quick. My car dealership the night before a snowstorm. And here we are the next morning. And here we go, day after the snowstorm. I bought this WRX fairly cheap because nobody else wanted it because of all of this lime green. I'm gonna show you how we're gonna instantly make this thing worth more money. So these things popped off pretty easy and you can see that they didn't actually remove them when they painted them because there's overspray all over the mirror. Here's the finished product of the Subaru. We went satin black on everything that was lime green because there was no way I was gonna be able to match this blue but the satin black actually blends pretty well. And it's a nice contrast to the car. Well, that's it. You can see behind me, the car that was so mint yesterday is now covered in snow, but my parking lot's starting to melt. I'm gonna make a bunch of money on that car. I knew it was a diamond in the rough the day I saw it. There was just something about it that I loved. So after parts and repairs, I own it for just about $1,000. That car I have listed on our website for $3,500. That right there is a score and I made 200% profit on my money. Where else and what other business can you do that in about a week's turnaround? If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe down below. Make sure you leave a comment. I wanna know your opinions. Did I do well? Did I not do well? What could I have done differently? Thanks for watching always. I'll see you later. Adios.